Alrighty, y'all. Hello and welcome. We are today looking at some really huge, big, top of the line emergency vehicles, fire trucks, rescue vehicles, that type of thing. This is from Epic uh, on Discord, so I appreciate that suggestion. Uh, these will be very small clips from various videos, so these will be all linked in the description so you can watch the whole thing as these are long videos and, of course, browser channels. Uh, and all these big trucks are going to be coming to us from, I believe, various parts of Germany. So I believe these are all German clips. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, these are indeed big. A lot bigger than the ones we usually have seen. Ooh, that's cool. I like this, um, you know, this department, municipality, whatever, right? We have all blues, red with the highlighter yellow, and some blue. It's actually a cool look. Wow, this, oh my God, look at that one. Two front axles? Look at that. <laughs> got four wheel steering in the front that's pretty wicked that looks like the man logo as well right damn what a beautiful truck holy smokes remember we've seen a lot of emergency vehicle videos and usually there's still some awesome trucks in there but they're in comparison smaller than this these are like the biggest ones i've ever seen and there's a whole convoy of them look at that that is beautiful this one's cool because uh, this one has a really high ride height. It has front steering axles, as you would expect, but only one, whereas the previous one had two front axles. Uh, but this one has rear steering as well, so that's really cool. Again, that's something you just you never see here in the U.S. I love it, dude. It's freaking awesome. Look at that, dude. These are beautiful trucks. Damn, would that be fun to drive one of these. I wonder if this is some sort of show or demonstration or parade, or if this really is a massive response. I don't think it is, though, because people are kind of look like they're camping out with cameras, so this must be some sort of demonstration. Look at this big one. Now, this is a different area. This is in Hamburg, I believe. That's a big boy. <laughs> that might be the biggest truck we have seen yet. Wow, two front steering axles and a and a steering axle in the back. Oh my god. I actually can't tell what manufacturer it is, but uh damn, it's a beautiful machine. Wow. That is gorgeous, dude. I love the highlighter orange, all blues again. Why is this such an aesthetic truck? It's gorgeous. What a beast. <laughs> wow. How loud those are, too. Look at the Scania's hiding in the back. Love it. Can you imagine driving this? Now, those other ones we just saw are big, too. This one is mega. This would actually be a... I mean, the weight of this thing. How much does this thing weigh? It must weigh just an unbelievable amount. Um, this would be very fascinating to drive. <laughs> you could definitely feel the weight in the size of that thing. I'm sure of it. Look at that thing. Just gorgeous. What a tough and strong machine, right? Look at this Scania mast truck. 90 meters. Now, remember, I'm not a metric guy, American, right? We are not used to metric, but I have a general idea. Um, let's see, 90 meters. I'm going to guess that's uh, that's really, that's really tall. <laughs> I'm not sure that's uh, too common. I don't have to be an expert in metric to know that 90 meters is quite a bit. Turn this down a little bit. Ooh, look at this. Is this next to some sort of nuclear plant? Look like reactor towers, right? This is a Scania, obviously. I think we saw at the beginning. Really cool. Now, what kind of operations would this be for? I mean, 90 meters. That's insanity. Look how big this thing is. 
How freaky that all that hides down there and it can end up extending that much into the sky, have you? Look at this countdown, 20 meters, or I should say count up, 40 meters. <laughs> Look how tall 40 meters is. That's not even halfway of what this thing can do. 40 meters is hella tall. Look at that. That gives me the, the creeps. That is hella tall already. 50 meters. Oh my. This is actually crazy. Look at how tall this is. <laughs> oh, oh, dude. Woo. I, I have what you call like categorical fear of heights. So like if I'm in a stable environment, like a big building, fear of heights, like uh, it doesn't bother me, right? If I'm in a tall building, I'm actually on a solid thing with walls and windows, that doesn't bother me. But this where you're in just like a, you know, a crane or a bucket or a lift like this and it's not a big area and you're just up in the sky, that's a different story. That's where I have the fear of heights. <laughs> so anyone that's working with this, massive respect, massive props to you because, wow, I mean, this just, this is scary as hell. How is this going up so high? And granted, that truck is huge and I'm sure it's heavy. But how is this going up that high and still remaining stable down here? What about the wind? You know, what about just uh, all, you know, how much swaying can this take? This is incredible that this is even happening to me. Uh, and looking down and seeing how small that truck looks now from up here, I'd be, I'd be freaking the hell out, dude. That is no joke. 90 meters. Look at the view. Oh my God, this guy's almost on top of this place. He's almost face to face with the top of those, those, uh, what, what, what would you call those? Like vents or exhaust things? <laughs> that is incredible, man. Wow. That all that fits down onto this truck. What a machine this is, huh? Now that's one hell of a truck. All right, and then look at this interesting. Let me turn it down a little bit for the music. Wir sind auf einem 180 Grad Drehkranz, 45 Grad nach oben und 10 Grad nach unten zu verstellen. I'm confident someone watching this will understand this. I believe they're speaking German naturally. Uh, so I'm not going to understand much. Massive Brandbekämpfung bei Großbränden. Brandbekämpfung auf Chemieanlagen. Niederschlagen von giftigen Gasen und Dämpfen. Kühlen brandgefährdete Objekte. Whoa, what the hell is that? Is that a turbine? Von Tunneln. Is that a freaking... Der der Werkfeuerwehr Evonik Industries in Rheinfelden-Baden ist auf einem Fahrgestell von MAN. Der Aufbau ist von die Cosi. Okay, beautiful truck. Cool livery on it. Look at the lights and the light bar. Is that... Are those jet engines? Die Ausstattung <laughs> unter anderem... What? What is happening here? PS. Pumpe 8000 Liter pro Minute. Oh my god. Anlage mit 2000 Liter Schaum an Bord. Vorwiegend wird die Wasserversorgung über A Schläuche versorgt und dann über What's going to happen here? in den Abgasstrahl gebracht. Bedient wird er entweder vom Leitstand im Inneren oder über eine mobile Fernbedienung. Holy crap, how many nozzles? four like super nozzles here and now that these turbines are revving up oh my god Je nach Wind kann das Wasser -Aerosol auf <laughs> holy shit dude that's insane oh my god man that's the craziest stream of water I've ever seen. Look at that. <laughs> They're creating like a hurricane. That's like a tropical storm. That is freaking sick, dude. Hey, come on. There's been summer days where you're just dripping sweat. You're hot. You're miserable, right? Oh, would that feel good or what? <laughs> I kid, I kid. That would actually hurt. I think we all know that uh, water pressure, when water is actually really 
coming out at a high pressure, it could do some damage. It, it won't feel good. It can actually hurt. There are machines, water jets, right, that literally can cut into things with water. <laughs> high pressure concentrated water is pretty damn strong. But uh, this is really cool, man. I did not know such a thing existed. This is a big surprise to me. And I do apologize for talking over this. Remember, these are linked in the description so you can watch the whole thing uninterrupted. I'll rewind it a little bit and I'll let the guy talk. Um, if you were missing that. It's incredible. Die Turbinen können nicht nur mit Kerosin betrieben werden, sondern auch mit anderen Betriebsstoffen wie Petroleum. Der Tank reicht so für eine Stunde Betrieb, kann aber extern dazu gespeist werden und somit durchgehend betrieben werden, ohne Unterbruch. Oh my God, man, that is insane. My question is, this is hella cool, hella impressive, but what do they use this for? Obviously, they're not pulling up to a house fire and, and spraying the house with this. I mean, it's going to knock the whole damn house over. <laughs> um, or, well, at least maybe an American house. I don't know if this would be good or bad for like a forest fire. Um, perhaps it's for some sort of like big factory, like industrial building fire. I don't know. I, I would love to hear what you guys think this is used for. I mean, it's, and he might be saying, he might be saying what it's used for and it's in German. I'm not understanding. So my apologies if that's true. Uh, I am just amazed by this. I mean, look at that. It's insane. It's creating a rainbow, by the way. That's pretty cool, right? On this sunny day, passing through the mist. This thing's an experience for sure. And here's more footage of that similar truck. I mean, look at these loaded on the back. It freaking can lift up like that. It's like a freaking something out of Transformers, something out of an action movie. <laughs> this is badass, dude. That, that's insane, literally. <laughs> How freaking cool is that, man? And then this is whatever, I like I said, I don't know if this is a municipality, a city, a town, a company, I, I don't know. But this same Ivonic, this is like some of their fleet. So I just figured I'd throw this on there at the end. Look at that. Look at that Renault van. Those are so funny looking, not gonna lie. Some of their cars seem really cool, and I, I really don't know much about the brand at all because we don't have them here. But, uh, yeah, these are funny looking. Uh, but this one's decked out pretty cool. I mean, like I said, they do have a cool livery. Got the light bar up there. It seems like to be the sirens exposed there. Look at this old... What do you call these? This is a cool truck. It's a cool little truck. Nissan Frontier would be called here. I don't know if it's maybe called something else. Uh, in Germany, but I love it. There's a cool, like, Mercedes van. An MAN. Yeah, these MAN trucks are next level. Look at that one. Just beautiful, man. Got the nice saxophone going here. <laughs> Another badass truck. Really interesting livery on there. Pretty cool. Beautiful machines, man. Tell you what, I mean, emergency vehicles in Europe are, like I said, are always are just so fascinating to me as a whole. Of course, it's really fun seeing the differences between them all. But Germany seems to have just an amazing variety of just robust and awesome uh, vehicles, man. Especially in the fire trucks, ambulance, you know, police sector. It's really cool. And you even, you even have one of these. What a contrast between that little smart car <laughs> and this big old beast. Well, that was a lot of fun. That was, I mean, emergency vehicle videos are one of my favorite series on this channel. They always are. This one really got me excited. That was a fun, col like, collage of f trucks there. I mean, we saw some really cool stuff in that one. That 90 meter high lift truck was outrageous, like truly a sky lift, like you were in the sky. It was freaky. Uh, and the turbine truck, like what in the hell? Some of those huge uh, fire trucks at the beginning were very impressive. This was a fun one. I cannot wait to see uh, your comments on this one. Uh, I really do appreciate you watching. Keep up those awesome suggestions. This was a great one, indeed. My name is Ian. You watch the IW Rocker. Until next time, y'all, stay safe out there.
I'll catch you later.